Hey everybody, um, so long story short, we have some recent developments in the story with the uh, corruption and because of what I just, <clears throat> because of what I just got confirmed by a journalist, um, I can go ahead and start naming names and we're, I told you, y'all weren't gonna, y'all weren't gonna get away with this and I don't know why y'all thought the internet wasn't a thing and that people couldn't make connections. So here's the deal. Aisha? Yes, you, and I hope you're watching this. We know you work for Hillary. We know that you are blatantly and not even subtly destroying the campaign from within. <clears throat> you have no credentials. You destroyed a campaign before single-handedly, accidentally. So the fact that I, that anybody believed that you were capable of running an entire state was completely beyond me. But I digress. Because we know that you were connected to Hillary. We've seen your Facebook. We see your picture with Debbie Washington Schultz. Anyone with any kind of common sense knows and knew at the time that you took the picture, which was around November, right before you were hired, <clears throat> that Debbie Washington Schultz was obviously against Bernie and supporting Hillary, but yet you decided you want to take a picture with her. But hey, maybe you just did it for political clout, and I got that. Except for I saw your Facebook before you were hired because I didn't tell you, nor did anyone else tell you because I told you not to. I saw that you were phone banking for Hillary. You were advertising for it all over your Facebook. I saw all your little friends on your Facebook page posting pro-Hillary stuff. You blatantly lied. You lied so many times. You didn't respond to the NAACP members that tried to get in contact with the Sanders campaign. You did not respond to Senator or Mayor Chris Ray. You did not respond to anybody who tried to endorse Bernie Sanders. But hey, maybe maybe the districts or the precincts that our three offices or what four offices were in did pretty well. Actually, no, they didn't. Ironically enough, there's places where our offices were, we actually did the worst in. Yeah, we had zero offices in Chapel Hill, but we actually won. We have supposedly offices in, in, in uh, Durham. There were two signs in all of Durham for Bernie. We had signs in Mecklenburg. We are, had an office in Mecklenburg, did bad. <clears throat> Apparently we had, it. My, bottom line is, we did the worst in Charlotte. That was your city. Oh, but maybe I'm just being too harsh. Maybe I am. I could be being too harsh. Except for when I found out that you're connected to Robert Dempsey. And yes, Mr. Robert, I know your friends too. <clears throat> and I know for a fact that you are an avid Hillary supporter. In fact, it's all over the internet. It's all over the internet. But I didn't have to find out from the internet because I know your friends. Robert Dempsey in some way, if not directly, <clears throat> indirectly push for Aisha to be hired here. That is the only way that Aisha could have gotten through with, gotten through the vetting process because she obviously didn't get vetted. Because anyone with any type of common sense could have known that this woman was completely incapable of running any type of campaign in North Carolina. <clears throat> Nobody in the African American caucus likes her. That should tell you something right there. Not to mention, in Durham, when we made an office, the president of the African American <clears throat> the African American Caucus had no idea that we had an office there. That's information that you have to blatantly withhold from somebody. And if not, you're a horrible state director for not telling her. Robert Dempsey. Robert Dempsey. This man has been an avid Hillary supporter forever, forever. How he got onto Bernie's campaign is beyond me. <clears throat> From what I understand, he worked in Vermont. But in North Carolina, he was the chair of the North Carolina Democratic Party at one point. If you know anything about the North Carolina Democratic Party, they are possibly the most corrupt. You, they are possibly the most corrupt Democrats that I have ever seen in my life. They, sing, they tried to take down Obama by <clears throat> essentially gathering all the senators 
and trying to push an anti-Obama Obama movement in 2012. Because they thought their jobs would be on the line because how many white people at the time were dissatisfied with Obama and so that's what they pushed. <clears throat> Robert knew about this and the person who really knew about it was the person who pushed for Robert. Patsy! Yes, Patsy! Another avid Hillary supporter. And it, one thing that you all need to know about the North Carolina Democratic Party is that they are all, that entire establishment is all avid Hillary supporters. Now, how this got through the cracks? <clears throat> how this got to the cracks? I don't know. Give me one second. Hold on, hold on. I got some more information for you all. Stay tuned. <clears throat> Patsy Kiever. You owe some explanations too, and I hope this gets to you. Because I know that you're directly connected to Robert. I know that Robert's directly connected to Aisha. Now, what scares me, and I don't want to think about this at all, but we have to now, because we know that you are all avid Hillary supporters literally up until like seven months ago. What scares me is the fact that this guy, Robert, has clout in Bernie's campaign. I mean, some serious clout. Because consider this. Consider the fact that Aisha was hired without being vetted. And I'm talking about you. They didn't even go to her Facebook. Obviously. So imagine who else this Robert character could have gotten in as a state director. Because there were literally probably 15 or 20 candidates that were well that were that were just so much better to hire that were already doing a lot of groundwork before Aisha started taking over the campaign because nobody knew this woman other than she was a blatant failure and she bankrupted an entirely different campaign before she got brought onto this one but why weren't you working for Bernie before you were hired the campaign had been going on for six or seven months at the time it's because somebody placed you there isn't it, Aisha and I knew it that's why I don't pick up your phone calls because I don't I know. So this is the message <clears throat> that we will be giving out to all of the grassroots organizers right now until until we get confirmation from Bernie. Do not do not work with the official campaign in your state until we can figure out who we can trust because these people turned away the NAACP members of the our state they turned away mayor mayor uh, mayor chris ray they turned away they turned away other candidates they turned away everybody who tried to and bernie could not meet with did not meet with any black leaders in north carolina the home of durham which is a 65 percent african-american community that is extremely prominent in the south met with zero didn't meet with the african-american caucus president didn't meet with like with the NAACP president didn't meet with anybody he met with one person and that had to be forced after Aisha had gotten into an argument with the person for the lady trying to introduce Bernie in the character so do not until we can figure out exactly what's going on in this campaign and exactly how much power and clout this Robert character has do not I promise you, the NC Democratic Party is possibly one of the slickest Democratic parties as far as being corrupt in the entire nation. They're all about their money. There is no difference between North Carolina Democratic Party members than Republicans. I'm telling you this from my personal experience. They've, they've, have, they've corrupted our entire political process here, not just one. I'm talking about to the point where they're passing out pamphlets asking for who, who are people going to vote for and leaving off every single black candidate off of the pamphlets. For govern, gubernatorial elections, senator elections, House of Representatives, like everything, they left all the black members off. They are just as bad as the Republicans. <clears throat> Please. Please. For the sake of this election, until we can figure out exactly who is doing this hiring and if Robert really has that much clout, because he was already a state director at one point. He was, there's no coincidence that he was in North Carolina and he used to be our Democratic Party. That's the only way he would know Aisha, because Aisha is a part of the African American caucus. I don't care how black she is. Nobody likes her here. Nobody likes her. I know. I'm part of it. So keep 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 your heads on a swivel organized through grassroots volunteer means only do not I, seriously do not reach out 
until we can get confirmation. And I'm not saying everyone on the official campaign is bad because I know personally I have friends that worked in our on our campaigns for an official uh, for an official tenure, and they were great and they are helping out with this process. So when I say that, don't take it personally. Anybody who works for the campaign, but in order, to, this is about Bernie, and this is about this country. Do not. Do not reach out to the heads of these states right now. Because we have no idea how many people are inf have infiltrated the campaign at this point. Because Aisha was so easily placed even after the entire state knew that she was working for Hillary. Or that she was advocating for Hillary to begin with. Once I get more names, I'll start releasing them. Because now we're starting to get confirmation and everything is starting to add up. If you have not watched the other videos and this is your first video. That you, and this is the first video that you've watched. Please, please go watch the other videos. And a lot of this will start making a lot more sense. Uh, until then, if anybody has any new information to introduce please please bring it to the table because this has i mean this the fact that that people have been bringing this newly uh, introduced information is what is going to save this campaign right now and we got to speak up and we have to get burned to speak up and i can finally say what i'm going to say what i was going to say and i didn't want to say until i got the information i figured out the names and i figured out what we could do we need to push for bernie sanders to sue for re-election as extreme as it may sound um it's 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 great change is not made through doing what you've always done we can't fight the establishment by ourselves we can't because they control the entire system right now and if we sue at the supreme court level for the re-election bernie's already proven that his lawyers and his team is good in ohio because they got they they overturned and sued rather quickly in Ohio on over the uh, age uh, disc, uh, discrepancy for voter for voter registration so we need to encourage Bernie Sanders to sue for re-election and if the if the case is found that Hillary was actively conspiring to corrupt this election we may not have to worry about running against Hillary the the primary may just be Bernie's to begin with all right Bernish. Bernie's counting on us. Let's get it.